Hi, so in this video session, I will walk you through the entire barcode printer range, uh, uh, right from the basic printers uh, to the uh, top end models. So in case uh, if you find it uh, difficult uh, in uh, getting the detailed specification of any of the printers, you can always uh, reach out to this mail ID and they will route you to the right vendor or to the right uh, Zebra representative uh, in your region. Okay, uh, so let's get started. So the entire barcode printer range is categorized into three different segments. The first one will be the desktop category and this category will have all the smaller range of printers, uh, the compact printers and uh, these are typically used in um, um, retail segment as well as in light manufacturing sectors. So if your requirement is um, very basic of uh, uh, two to three label rolls uh, per day, then this printer will suffice for your requirement. And uh, when I say label rolls, uh, all the entire desktop printer range can take maximum of a five inch outer dia label rolls. So it does not matter whether it is a value class printer or the premium uh, class of desktop printers. So the next in range will be the tabletop printers. Uh, these are the industrial grade printers. Again, we have a variety of printers here and uh, right from uh, the basic uh, to the 24 by 7 printers, all those industrial grade printers are categorized into the tabletop segment. So the next uh, categorization is the mobile printers. So if your requirement is to print on the go, whether it is within your premises or on the field, then this is the printer to go for. Uh, these printers are compact in size and it will carry a battery and a Bluetooth and Wi-Fi feature on it. So those printers are categorized into mobile. Now let's uh, deep dive into the desktop printers uh, first. Uh, the first in category is the ZD200 series printer. So this printer um, uh, has two variants when I say series. One will be 220 and the other one will be 230. So any printer model which says a series uh, will have multiple models on it. The first one, 220, uh, will have uh, with less ribbon capacity. Uh, the standard uh, on all the desktop printer is uh, uh, 74 meter of ribbon capacity. So this is a printer has only 74 meter option and the interface is limited being a value class and the starting range of the desktop printer, um, uh, the interface is limited on this printer. So if your requirement is to print only via USB and 74 meter is enough, then this is the printer to go for. So when I say 74 meter ribbon, uh, as I told earlier, the label capacity is a five inch outer dia, right? So it will be like one ish to one. Whenever you change the label roll, uh, the ribbon will also be exhausted. That is why it is said one to one. So when 74 meter is consumed, the five inch outer dia label roll will also be consumed. So if your requirement is to have much wider interface and extra ribbon capacity, uh, like if you want to go for a 300 meter ribbon and um, you want to have ethernet, wireless, Bluetooth, then the printer to go for is this one, ZD230 printer. So that is how you choose between a 220 or a 230 model. So the next in range of the printer is a 400 series. So this is much modular compared to 200. So the 200 series, all the options are all factory fitted. Whereas this one being very modular, everything is field upgradable. Whether you want to do a DPA conversion, whether you want to have a cutter to be upgraded, or you want to have a dispenser, the peeler option to be installed, everything is possible on the field. That is why this model is uh, modular in design. Uh, the, this model, what you're seeing on the screen is a two inch variant, a ZD410, uh, typically used for uh, ticketing application or to print uh, tags. Uh, uh, as you see, this printer does not have a capacity to have ribbon on it. So it is a direct thermal printer. And if at all you require a thermal transfer on a two inch variant, do reach out to us. We will guide you which model to go for. Uh, the next in series will be the ZD421, the same 400 series. And this one will have, uh, as you can see, a four inch width. And this has uh, three different variant. One, you can use a ribbon on it. Uh, a normal 300 meter ribbon or a 74 meter ribbon. And you can also have a cartridge variant also. So if at all uh, you, you, your, uh, your uh, user uh, is not familiar or does not want to spend much time changing the ribbon rolls on the printer, there is a separate variant where it comes on a cartridge. The ribbon comes in a cartridge form. 
so that will be 74 meter in length so that is the difference between the 200 series to 400 series and this has a much wider um, 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 uh, option to support the link OS features itself so except the uh, print station part everything on the link OS can be accessed on this printer so the next one uh, on this range is our healthcare range printer, uh, the ZD510HC and this is typically for the healthcare sector for the hospitals uh, to print the wristbands of the patient. So it is specifically for that. So having said that, it is not limited to only healthcare. People do use in the entertainment industry as well uh, to have restricted access for the wristbands and all. So though for those purpose also, this can be bought. But this is typically uh, built for healthcare. As you can see, the material is white in color. And this material is uh, specifically made for uh, uh, using harsh chemicals of uh, uh, that, that people you typically use to sterilize the body. So this body is uh, uh, this plastic material is, cap is capable of uh, uh, having to go through all the sterilization chemicals so that is why it is uh, specifically meant as for healthcare model that is why the name itself is mentioned as ZD510HC which is healthcare model okay so the next in range uh, is our uh, 600 series the premium category printer so this printer um, uh, has uh, a touch LCD screen on on top, so much uh, a better user interface for the uh, uh, printer to be configured and all. And it has, as I told uh, for the 400 series, this is also modular in nature. You can easily upgrade all the features on the field itself. So you don't have to worry about uh, changing or uh, to, to, to buy a new printer to get some other extra feature on the printer. Everything is upgraded on the field itself. Again, the load all these printers take is uh, two to three rolls uh, and a single shift usage kind of a user scenario only. So if at all you want to have more load on these printers, you have to go in for the tabletop segment. So this printer ZD621 series also has the option to have RFID on it. So that is if at all your requirement is to print and encode RFID tags. So this desktop model has a RFID variant as well. Now coming to the, uh, the portfolio stacking. So if you want to see how the printers get uh, stacked on the, uh, on the price front as well as on the feature front. So, so this is how the printers are stacked. So the 200 series is the value class, then comes the 400 series, then the Fight and HC printer, and then the top model, the premium model is our 600 series. So this is how the printers are stacked, price-wise, feature-wise, and the performance-wise. Okay. So before we go to the tabletop segment, I want to introduce the uh, uh, the printer which can have a battery on it. So if at all your requirement is to uh, move around and print, uh, whether it can be on the field or within premises, so this is the option that you can choose. The ZD400 series as well as the ZD600 series can have a battery option pack. Okay, so the printer can be fitted with the battery at the base as you can see on the video and on the um, uh, it can be carried around uh, either on a trolley on a Vero scenario or you can have this kind of a carry case and then move around on the field. So this is one option um, which I wanted to introduce to you. So coming next is our uh, tabletop uh, series of printers. Uh, the entry model of the printer of the, of the industrial grade printer is ZT220. Uh, this is an all plastic model printer, and uh, uh, typically this uh, label, this you can print approximately uh, two to three rolls uh, per per day per shift uh, kind of usage. And uh, the labels that all the tabletop printers uh, carry will be uh, eight inch of outer dia. The desktop printers had five inch outer dia. So this printer can take eight inch of outer diameter. And the user interface, what you see is only the touch, the, the buttons over here. You don't have a LCD interface. So if at all you want to have a LCD, much better user interaction with the printer, then the printer to go for is ZT230. So this printer has a standard LinkOS user interface, uh, LCD you have. 
all the features of ZT220. Uh, the standard interface comes with USB and uh, serial port on it. And optionally, you can upgrade whatever interface you want, whether you want to go for Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So the performance wise, both printers are similar, ZT220 and 230. It all depends on how you want to interact with the printer. The user interface, if you want to have a better user interface, go for this. If you want to have a metal body on it, the ZT220 is all plastic uh, casing. This one has a metal casing on it. All right. So the next in series is the uh, 400 series. So this uh, is typically used uh, widely in the automobile sectors and uh, those who want at least a two shift usage kind of scenarios, you have to go for this. So this has a much better user interaction uh, on the front panel. You can see it is a color touch screen that is there and you have um, much wider uh, interface options on this printer. You can also have a Bluetooth. The Bluetooth comes as a standard on this printer and you have a USB host functionality on this printer. If you want to have a PC-less operation, you can use this printer. Uh, you can directly connect it to the USB host port and then uh, send the data to the printer to interact with the printer. Everything can be done via the USB host functionality. So, Again, this has a metal body on it. So the uh, the bifold door option is there on this printer to save um, the much needed the premium space in your workspace. And uh, this is a four inch model. If at all you want to have a six inch variant, uh, you have to go for ZD. 421, uh, which is a six inch variant of the same model. All the features are similar except the width of the label that the printer can carry on. So the next in uh, series is our uh, ZT500 series. Uh, so this is a, a model uh, which is typically used in a very harsh environment. So if you are, your environment is uh, much, much harsh, a very dusty environment, then the choice between the 400 and 500 comes in. You have to go in for the ZT510 only. So don't go for a 410 if the environment is harsh. So that is how you choose between the 400 and the 500 one. And if your requirement is um, uh, like you want to use the printer for 24 by 7 operation, no matter how much label you want to print. If it is a 24 by 7 operation, the printer by default oh, you have to go for is ZT610, 600 series. The 610 what is there on the screen is a 4 inch variant. You have a 6 inch variant also on this. The interface that this printer carries is the same like our uh, uh, 400 series. You have a much wider user or interface option including the Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Ethernet, everything. So that is how the choice has to be taken between 400, 500 and 600. So this is the 6 inch variant on this printer, uh, ZT620. So 610 is a 4 inch, 620 is a 6 inch variant. Again, if your uh, requirement is to use a printer on conveyors, right, the print and apply kind of scenario, this is the print engine series that we have, ZE500, ZE, ZE stands for our Zebra engine. So this is the printer which is typically used on the um, uh, manufacturing area or on the warehouse uh, dispatch areas and all where you want to have automated printing process. So the print engine is typically uh, comes along integrated with the third party arrangements of uh, print and apply robotic arms, the label feeding mechanism, everything comes into play and this print engine fits into such scenarios. So this is how the tabletop printers are categorized and if you want to see how it is uh, stacked up, let's see uh, the stacking uh, part, the starting range is our 200 series, so then comes uh, the 400, we don't have a 3 series, so it's 2, 4, 5 and 6 and top of it stands our print engine. So next is our mobile printers. Uh, the starting range, the value class is our ZQ200 series, ZQ220. Uh, you have a 2 inch and a 3 inch variant here. Uh, in India, it is uh, 120, it's called as 120 and 112. So that is only for made in India. So rest of the world, it's the printer is ZQ220. This the printer is predominantly used for printing receipts. Okay, so having said that, this printer can also support labels on it but predominantly for receipt printing purpose, very compact in size and easy to carry around. Interface will be only Bluetooth. So if your scenario is only Bluetooth based printing, this printer is 
the right choice. So if you want to have light label printing, yes, you can support that also. Okay. So if your requirement is to have a Wi-Fi option also to support the ZPL language, the Zebra programming language, then the choice has to be ZQ320 series. Again, this printer also has 2 inch and 3 inch variant. Multiple models are available. Whether you want to choose only Bluetooth or Wi-Fi plus Bluetooth, you can choose according. Again, this printer can also support labels as well as receipts. So when I say labels, it can also support a label with the gap or label with the mark. So different types of labels can be supported. So if your requirement is to have more ruggedness on the printer, more drop specification to be used on the field outside uh, the four walls, then the printer to be chosen is our 500 series. You have a three inch variant and a four inch variant on this. So, so you can see that ruggedness on this printer. This will have an LCD interface on the front and this also can support label and receipt. So the next in series is the top one, the premium category, 600 series here. So this one will have three variant. Uh, you have a two inch, three inch and a four inch model on this. This is predominantly built for label printing. Uh, so you have a much wider capacity of media to be stored inside the printer and you also have a peeler option being specifically made for label printing. This also supports peeling options. So you, it will print and present the label for the user. So they just have to take the label and paste it. They don't have to peel it from the liner. So that is one option that this printer carries being a label specific printer. So having said label specific, this printer can also print continuous media which are the receipts. Now, if these printers have to be stacked up, how it has uh, 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 done the performance wise as well as the price wise. So this is how the printers are stacked, starting from the value class of 200. So you have 200, 300, 500 and 600. We don't have a 400 series. So it's 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 5 and 6 series. So this is how the mobile printers are stacked. So hope uh, the uh, explanation about our uh, printer range has helped you uh, in choosing the right printer. If at all you have any queries or you want to reach out to any of our representative or the partners, uh, do contact the mail ID shared at the earlier the introduction screen. So hope it has been helpful for you. Thank you.